we just got new exciting news on DMZ season four and a lot is changing moving forward. And we're just gonna hop right into this. So first things first, we are getting a new map. It's called Vondel. As of right now, it says it's coming to Warzone and sources are saying that it comes to DMZ a little later. I'm not sure what to think about it as when a Sheikah dropped, we instantly got it in DMZ. Obviously, that's not confirmed, and this is from just a trusted source, Charlie Intel, who says that the new map is coming. The new map hasn't been confirmed by Infinity Ward, however, he's a pretty credible source, but I would hope that if we are getting a new map on Warzone, we would also get it on DMZ at the same time. Now, let's talk about specific DMZ changes, because... I am pretty excited for everything that's coming in the new DMZ Season 4 update. So, first, we are going to get a refresh and a reset like we did in Season 2. All of our missions are going to be wiped completely. It's going to bring in a new upgraded mission faction. It's called Redacted currently, as we don't know the name. It's not actually Redacted, I'm pretty sure. But we will be getting more missions along with a mission reset. All of your mission progress is going to be wiped. So that's good. I know a lot of you might not agree with that. You've been working really hard on this. We'll talk about that a little bit more at the end here. I want to go over why these changes are good, even if they sound bad at the start. Now, the next big thing. Contraband, keys, mission inventories will be completely emptied all of it it's going bye bye i'm assuming just to refresh with the missions and stuff that works but in the end we are getting a hard reset here including insured weapon slots insured weapon slots will be reset again now before you guys rage and comment and blast me this is actually a big move and i am very excited i'm gonna tell you guys why I just want to get through all this. Now, there will be new ways to unlock the insured weapons. So, will it be easier? Will it be harder? Will there be more weapon slots? I don't know. Nothing's confirmed yet on that end of it. But all everything I'm telling you guys here is confirmed. If it's not, it's not shown on the screen here. So, keep that in mind. Now, do keep in mind though as well, earned rewards such as blueprint skins, calling cards will not be affected. So, everything you've earned so far is yours to keep. All those exclusive DMZ blueprints from those tier 5 missions, those are yours to keep, and they will be some of the rare skins in the game. So if you haven't finished up yet, you might as well go for them, because they are about to become a whole lot rarer and a lot more valuable. So keep that in mind. Now, I want to talk a little bit about why this reset is needed. And one feature I'm hoping we see removed from DMZ coming Season 4. But let's talk about the reset. So the big thing here is we are getting a massive reset throughout DMZ Season 4. So this is good because this could help people get back to the mission aspect of DMZ. I don't know if you guys have played DMZ lately, but man, is it PvP central. It is crazy out there right now. Everyone is forming six-man squads, pre-made six-man squads, and they are hunting the lobby because... Their tier two, tier three missions are too difficult and all they want to do is hunt people. They have all their slots or whatever it might be, and they're just hunting people down. So a reset will definitely chill back the PvP a little bit for the next little bit. And I mean, I'm not saying PvP should not be in DMZ. It needs to be in DMZ. I'm just saying the six man squads out there hunting teams down for absolutely no reason it's going to cut back a little bit with this reset. And I know a lot of you guys have worked really hard to get as far as you have in DMZ, but I promise as a whole, this is a giant benefit. I promise. Now, one thing that hasn't been talked about that I really hope we see some sort of adjustment to is assimilation. Assimilation needs to be completely removed from the game. I know that I've made a couple of videos about this and I know a lot of you have offered advice, but um, I think even limiting it to four people, it still poses a problem. I think they need to get rid of assimilation completely 
and three-man squads are your max team. I don't really care about seeing a solo-only queue. If you're going in solo, you know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, solos, being able to plead or whatever that might be, if you're going in as a solo player, you are full aware of what you're getting yourself into, and that's that. That's just it. But assimilation needs to go. Now, before anything, make sure you drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. And I've got a lot more DMZ content coming along with daily live streams. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these changes. I would actually really like to know. I'll see you guys on the next one or in a live stream. Deuces.